Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. I was thinking today about a friend of mine several years ago who wanted more than anything to uh, go into a, a career of selling automobiles. Uh, this uh, young man uh, loved cars. Uh, he had almost a photographic memory, and he could learn almost everything about uh, uh, all of the models of cars. Uh, and I'll never forget, he studied and uh, prepared himself for what he wanted to be his new career, and and he uh, actually got a job because he was uh, a nice-looking young man and had uh, uh, some educational background and uh, seemed to carry himself well and uh, uh, dressed uh, nicely. Uh, and uh, he launched into his perfect career, uh, knowing everything there was to know about the cars that he was selling. Uh, and I didn't hear from him for quite some time, and uh, later he called and we visited, and, and uh, he didn't do very well in his chosen profession. Uh, he knew everything about the cars, but uh, he had a difficult time selling them. Uh, and he made a comment to me uh, that has stuck with me, and it came to my mind this morning. He said, Father Steve, I know everything there is to know about these cars. I just can't sell them. Uh, and that stuck with me because sometimes we know all there is to know about a partic particular topic, uh, but we don't know ourselves very well. Uh, and it's important that we know who we are. Uh, that's even more important than the knowledge we have about other things. Uh, we need to know who we are, uh, who are, we were created to be, uh, and whose we are. We belong to the Lord our God, and we're His. Uh, and so this uh, young man realized that uh, while he um, knew everything about cars uh, and could list uh, all the, the different specifications and makes and models and trim uh, types and all of that, uh, he just simply couldn't sell because he did not have the personality it took uh, to make connection with other people. And often we, we misjudge ourselves when we forget who we are. Uh, and we wind up becoming uh, lost, as it were. Uh, we must remember that we belong to the Lord. And often those things happen to us, forgetting who we are, when we go into great difficulty or trouble. Um, I have talked to a number of people today about uh, my red ball that I'm squeezing uh, because my orthopedic surgeon said, if I want to regain use of my right shoulder, after my surgery uh, uh, almost eight days ago, uh, I've got to continue to do this. And that's sort of who I am right now. I'm doing what I'm told to do. Uh, but uh, people ask, uh, sometimes when we go into difficulty uh, or we have great problems in our lives, uh, that it, it drives us down and we make uh, serious mistakes when we let uh, uh, our definition of ourselves uh, be encapsulated in what has happened to us. I am not a shoulder patient. You know, I may be under the care of an orthopedic surgeon, but that's not who I am. You know, I may be stuck at home squeeze, squeezing a, a red ball, uh, but that's not who I am. I belong to the Lord my God. And even though I walk through difficult times, or as Psalm 23 says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, that's not who I am. Uh, a lot of people come to me and use that exact expression from Psalm 23, which I've been reading this morning and praying about and meditating upon. Uh, people say, Father, Father Steve, I, th I think I'm in the valley of the shadow of death. I'm going through such, such darkness right now, as many people are. Uh, I'm hearing almost uh, multiple times a day about people who are encountering fresh cases of COVID-19 in their families. Uh, and we're not out of the woods yet on that. And people are even using that exact expression. I'm in the valley of the shadow of death. And what I say, that's not who you are. Don't let that be the definition you have of yourself. Read the whole verse. Don't stop at the first half of Psalm 23, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
That's half of the verse. Read the rest of it, which says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Read the whole verse. When we're in darkness or troubled times, or we're squeezing red balls in our lives because the doctor tells us to, uh, that's not who we are. Uh, we may be in the valley of the shadow of death, but remember that shadows can't hurt us. You know, uh, walk outside and see your shadow and how much does it hurt to be uh, hit by a shadow? Well, it doesn't hurt. It's scary and it uh, frightens us, uh, but we don't walk through the shadows alone, even the shadow of the, the valley of death. For he is with us, the Lord is with us. So please remember that that's who you are. You know, when you forget uh, everything else, remember that you belong to God. You're his blessed creature. He loves you. He created you. And while you're squeezing your red balls, he's right there with you. And when you walk through the valley of the shadow of darkness or the deep darkness of the world, you don't walk it alone. He's with you. God bless you, and I hope you have a blessed day today, and I will see you here again tomorrow. Actually, I will see you at Mass tomorrow. God bless you.